So this video is going to be a little bit different than uh, in my normal videos because in this one we're going to be talking about Pest Simulator 99 updates and specific the new schedule that they have added and uh, pretty much it's in regards to weekly updates. And as you can see, we've got this like water fountain right here at four days and 20 uh, hours, which is pretty, pretty nice, 420 right here. Uh, so that's when the new update is coming out. And the previous update was just like, what, three days ago? So yeah, weekly updates are pretty nice. And these might actually save the game from dying because as you guys may have known, uh, Pet Simulator 99, right after it released, has actually uh, done weekly updates for, I believe, up to like update uh, four. Uh, I can't even see down below. Uh, this is what, 23rd? uh 30th yeah so i think after update yeah so after update four they stopped doing uh, weekly updates they did like a monthly update then they did like every three weeks and now they're going back to weekly updates and so take note of like the last time they actually did this update because as you can see um i'm on rolling months right now and i'm going to put a picture on screen now and it's going to show pretty much uh how the game has actually started dying after they stopped doing weekly updates because weekly updates are really important for the game it's better to have weekly updates than just huge updates because it's going to keep players from getting too bored from the game because personally for me i had just as much fun with the weekly updates as with these like what what were they like three weeks and like monthly updates i had more fun doing uh pretty like just these regular updates that you know they didn't have as much obviously uh but still it was just nice to have an update uh then actually wait for them obviously the monthly updates had more uh to them but i still feel like weekly updates are extremely crucial uh to keep the game alive and this is why pest simulator 99 might actually see a comeback maybe i'm wrong maybe it doesn't i mean i don't think at least you know if it doesn't go back up to like you know what it used to be at least i don't think it's going to die unless there's like a huge issue going on like i don't know like as you guys saw there's like some pet simulator 99 drama where like you know these hackers got like you know one and one pets uh, unless there's like something crazy that goes on to like get people actually like to leave the game obviously like little kids are not going to leave because they don't really care about drama but like you know pe people like my age and stuff if they see that then they might like you know or, like you know some some bad uh, accusations go against preston or something then maybe people will, will stop but uh yeah with these weekly updates it's going to definitely help out the game if you guys want to be entered to the huge giveaway make sure to follow these three steps First of all, you guys want to like the video to make sure you guys are entered. Next up, you want to subscribe to the channel and turn on all post notifications. Lastly, you want to comment your Roblox username for a chance to win the huge. And with that, you're all set. Good luck. And hopefully, these weekly updates do continue because, you know, if they don't continue, like if the if developers get lazy or something, then it might actually, no. But I'm not saying the developers are lazy. Like, I mean, you know, like literally like 200 maps for one game is insane. Uh, the maps aren't big, obviously, but... They, they, they put a lot of detail into each one of them, uh, which is crazy. I mean, how, how can you do all of this? Like, you know, four areas in like a week. If I was a builder, I could probably barely get one done, but let alone like four or five. But yeah, these updates are definitely going to keep players engaged with the game. And, you know, maybe like some stuff, like obviously like exclusive pets are probably going to stay here. Like it's just going to be small like, updates, but it's going to keep players like, you know, it's going to keep them from switching on to other games. And I promise you guys, I'm not trying to extend the video and by any means i'm just trying to share literally all of my thoughts on this and so yeah, as like as an example for like you know these weekly updates coming along after this update which is what update nine so after update nine i was going to stream another game because i'm partnered with them shout out to the developers but yeah i was going to actually you know make another uh like a stream on another game it wasn't going to be on pet simulator 99 but now i might have to actually uh, make two streams now for pet simulator and that because pet simulator 99 is now making weekly updates and it's definitely something that i don't want to miss so, I mean, I have, I think I've pretty much made a stream on every update since like update four or three. So it's going to be very nice for, you know, pretty much just my channel in general, but it's going to help out everyone else. Uh, you know, even regular players, it's, it's really going to help out everybody apart from the developers. I'm like, if the developers might be like, you know, burnt out, that might be an issue, but they should just hire more people. I mean, they're racking up tons and tons of money. I don't see an issue uh, with, you know, money that they should, that, like, I don't see an issue with actually getting more developers to go onto the team uh but yeah hopefully we see that uh like hopefully this game just goes uh, in the positive direction to future obviously it's like you know my opinion on this game isn't completely positive it's not the best game in the world obviously but it's definitely a big game that you know the many developers have actually put their works into so you just gotta respect that